Hey guys, it's Matt here from The Bull Call. And today we're going to take a look at LCID. It's finally, finally here, guys. Uh, so let's get right into the video. But before we get into the video, guys, if you guys can just go quickly take 10 seconds out of your day, go down below, click that like and subscribe button, click that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. That would be wonderful. So let's get right back into the video. All right, guys, we're actually going to pull up my E-Trade account. I'm going to actually blur out a lot of this stuff because... Uh, I want to keep it a little confidential, and I don't want you to see all my holdings just yet. Uh, so we're just going to basically zoom in pretty much on LCID. And currently, my account is down horrendous um, because of LCID, as you can see right here, is literally at zero bucks. It says I have 20 shares at zero dollars. So that knocked out, you know, roughly about 500 bucks. And... Plus my, you know, what I was making on that, which was around 180 bucks or something like that, 150. So that I lost around 600 right now off my account balance. So that I, obviously it's gonna come back tomorrow, or it really should. I don't know why it wouldn't. Uh, but yeah, so we finally actually have, you know, confirmation. LCID is finally here. I think if I click on the I, yeah, nothing shows up. It's literally nothing. Uh, yeah, I mean it. We're finally here, though. This is great. We'll take a look at the trading view charts, the five, uh, four hours. Currently, I'm waiting for a, you know, candlestick, you know, more of like a bullish. I think, I, I don't know. I, it really depends on what happens tomorrow. I think we could see a bullish movement, but I, I'm very afraid of what's going to happen. Like, I, I'm afraid that, not that we got super pumped, but... We could see a little bit of a pullback uh, since it is only, it's Monday. I mean, there's so many factors. People could be, you know, buy the hype, sell the news type of thing. So I'm a little afraid on that side. But I feel like it's not really, it's not like what we saw before. It's not like we saw a big, you know, push high and then a huge sell-off because it wasn't, you know, the greatest deal of all eternity. But we still had, you know, I mean, we're, it, we're, we're, we're relatively flat. We're not really, we haven't really seen a lot of gains. I mean, yes, off this $17 level, yeah, we've seen a lot of gains. But it's not like we're up here. Then I would be a little afraid of seeing a, a sell-off. We're literally, we're, we're at a very decent price area. Sure, could we totally see a sell-off tomorrow? It wouldn't surprise me. But I would like to, I, I think we will we'll see relatively flat or if, if we get to see the institutional investors like the, uh, you know, banks and, and all these uh, hedge funds. I, I think hedge funds will start getting behind LCID since it's no longer a SPAC and I think it's more, it's more protected as a real company rather than a SPAC. So I feel like some uh, hedge funds will start getting in Lucid Motors or what, it's going to be called Lucid Group. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll we'll either see you know a lot of a lot. We're gonna see a good, I think, movement tomorrow. I don't know if we're gonna stay relatively flat. It's a possibility. Obviously, anything is a possibility at this point. But I think we'll see a little bit of a uh, you know greenish movement tomorrow. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping for. But I mean, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I, the 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 chart's not looking fantastic. We're kind of in this like we're 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 very stale. We're we're in like a stalemate right now. We're not really moving. I mean, obviously, for a SPAC, you know, a buck is a lot, or a whole dollar is a lot to move. Uh, and obviously, two, two and a half percent, and you know, obviously up five percent. I mean, obviously, it's moving a lot, quote unquote, a lot percentage-wise. But it's not really when you look at it. When you look at the charts, it's not really moving that much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.